Miriam has Saras and her brother Moshe davens for her. Kel Fanala, short prayer. Rashi says, Moshe turned to Kodesh Baruch and says, Let me know if you will heal her or not. Let me know if this prayer was accepted. But many ask, how is this possible? In Brachos da Flamedale da Mudbeis, we learned in the Mishnah about Rabbi Hanina ben Dosa. He used to daven for sick people, and when he finished davening, he used to say, yep, that worked. That was a good prayer. It worked. This person will heal. And if it wasn't so good, he said at the end of uh, his davening, it's not going to work. And they asked him, how do you know this? Are you a prophet? And he said, no, I just know if the tefillah came out smooth, it worked out. This prayer will be accepted. This person will heal. But if the tefillah came out not so smooth, I know it's just not going to work. So Rabbi Hanina ben Doisa knows something that Moshe Rabbeinu doesn't know. Is he greater than him? Obviously not. There's no one like Moshe. So how is it possible? Rabbi Hanina ben Doisa knows at the end of his prayer that his prayer was accepted or not, and Moshe doesn't know. So some explain. Rabbi Hanina ben Doisa knew that it's going to work or not. We're talking about a long prayer. Moshe only said five words. Kel na refan Allah. It's very hard to mess up five words. So it's going to come out smooth, and therefore Moshe can't rely on analyzing how exactly the prayer came out. But some explain differently. Moshe was a stutterer. He testified on himself. Kvad peu, kvad lashon. He was a stutterer. So for him, every prayer was very, very difficult. Mesirus nefesh. So it... He can't analyze at the end of the prayer, how did this come out? Was this smooth or not? They're all not so smooth. He's a stutterer. It's very difficult for him to say anything. And therefore, he can't rely at the end of davening to figure out, was this smooth or not? While Rabbi Hanun ben Toisa can.